a Kangaroo Fern production. A Gorilla Podcast Syndicate production. Hashtag Real Talk 2. Willing ka ba to share? Alam mo na ba? Is an online streaming podcast that talks about unfiltered take on things. Ready ka ba? Handa ka bang magbulgar na mga isyong iniiwasan mong malaman? It unravels concerns about love and relationships. Family. Carry mo bang amini sa sarili mo na? Ito na to. G ka bang pag-usapan to? Friendship and people on topics which the latter normally avoids to disclose. Really? Dahil hashtag Real Talk To. With Global Master Coach Mike Sellis and Radio DJ Tere Gonzalez. Powered by Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate. Magandang evening, saan man po kayong sulok ng mundo muli po. Ito ang episode 6 ng hashtag Real Talk to. Ayan, syempre kasama nyo rin ako, no? Hindi mawawala ang inyong radio personality na si DJ Tere Gonzalez at syempre ang aking co-host, ang aking partner, Coach Mike Celis. Hi, Coach! Hello, everyone! Ayan, ayan, ayan sa lahat ng mga listeners natin and viewers kasi may pa-YouTube pala ito, ma'am. So, mm-hmm. ba? So, kaya naman nag-ready kami ngayon, lalo-lalo na ang pulang-pulang putok na putok na lipstick na aking partner. Okay? So, ayan. But anyway, um, so nice to be back. O, sabi sa man sa inyo, magiging consistent na kami, ba? And welcome back to Hashtag Real Talk to, kung saan pag-uusapan namin ang mga issues na ayaw pag-usapan ng iba dahil gusto lang namin. <laughs> Oo. At marami kasi nag-hold back pag mga, may, may mga issues na mm. iniiwasan, ba? Siguro kasi meron exactly. silang fear. Meron silang, uh, meron silang fear of rejection or fear mm-hmm. of bashing. Na yan ang pag-uusong episode. Correct. Na usong-uso naman talaga sa society natin, di ba? Parang naging core values na natin yan. Uh, alam mo, nakakalungkot hmm. lang. Kasi di ba, pag sinabi mong technology, it, nag, ito yung nagpapaginhawa, nagbibigay convenience sa lahat ng ginagawa natin ngayon. Pero kasi nagiging kabalik na rin eh. Because of the, of the power of technology, minsan na gagamit natin to sa hindi magandang paraan. Especially in communicating. Kasi dati, kapag mm. kinausap mo yung tao face-to-face, napakabait ka, ganyan, mm. you're trying to yourself, the best self. Pero kapag pala ikaw ay nasa likod na ng, ano, ng isang uh, device or yung technology na yun mm. na sa sa'yo ng kausap mo, ala, dun, it's either lumalabas yung super, uh, yung alter ego mo or yung napakasama mo talagang ugali, di ba? Doon lumalakas ang loob mo. At doon lumalakas yung tao talaga na mambash. Bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng bash? Ikaw, ano, Coach Mike, kasi since um, you've been mentoring and honing a lot of your clients na I'm sure isa sa mga concerns nila lagi araw-araw ay eh, yung sumisita sa kanila, nandiyo-judge, and nambabash. Hmm. What do you tell them? Uh... Ano ba? Ilalayo ko pa ba? Eh, ako nga, nabash ako last time. Oo oh, <laughs> nga, pwede ko mo yun. Oo, oh, oh, nabash ka nung nakaraan. Diba? Oo oh, pa nga. Doon na lang tayo. Ayan. What happened to you nung nakaraan? Kasi okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, but before that, let me just ano add something to sa sinabi mo kanina. No? Na social media kasi is the great equalizer. Ibig sabihin nito, maraming may access dito. And everyone has equal footing. Meaning kahit sinabi pa yan ng taga kung saan man lugar, equal lang yan sa sinabi ng taga Manila. Okay? Magkakatalo lang kung sino yung mas interesting or mas maraming followers. But then again, that wanting to be heard, yung feeling and the power na parang mapapakinggan ako ng rest of the world. So, that thing drives people to actually, you know, bash others because it empowers them in the process. We are talking about people who may not have had that experience to feel good about themselves. And napapansin sila dahil they're creating a scene. So that's how bashing happens, diba? So mga papansin, ganun lang. So you want to start a podcast or perhaps you've already started one, but you're still unclear on how you can actually make this podcasting work. No worries. That's why we're here for you. We are Gorilla Podcast Syndicate, powered by Kangaroo Fern Media Lab. 
Join our network. Contact us at info at kangaroofern.com because we're stronger together. So it happened to me recently when I guested sa DZRH, okay? So the thing there was that during that time, hindi ko nakita yung comment. It was only ano, mentioned to me after, okay? Na merong ganon. Ang comment po sa akin was that uh, ang lambot ng guest nyo. Uh, it wasn't that said that way. It was ang lambot ng guest nyo. Di ba? As in may ano, exclamation points. So, you knew agad, di ba, na parang the intent there was to ridicule. Eh, ang mga ganun sa akin, parang, ay, wait lang, di ba? Kasi, sabi ko nga, uh, I champion ano, authenticity, di ba? Pangalawa, uh, regardless of a person's gender, it doesn't affect, di ba, the skills or the capabilities to be a subject matter expert. It's like saying that women cannot lead. And that men should only be the one in possession. Okay? So, so medyo nag-ano tayo doon. Pero dahil coach nga tayo, di ba? And hindi naman pwede magwala ako doon. Kahit na anong gawin natin. Anong interview? Oo. Interview. So, what I said was, okay, uh, did that comment make you feel better about yourself? Okay? So, bakit naman mahalaga na ganun ang pag-respond? Take note, ang ginamit kong word ay... Respond, not react. Simply yeah. because dapat pinag-iisipan. Kasi ang mga basher, syempre, ang gusto nila, mag-react ka. Na parang, di ba, galit na galit ka. Simply because, yun yung objective eh. Magalit ka, mawala ka sa sarili mo, mahuli nila na ma-off guard ka. However, if you respond coming from a space na, ano nga ba yung rason nitong basher kung bakit niya ginagawa yun? Kasi nga, gusto niya mapansin. Gusto niya mag relevant So therefore, ang ginawa ko, I asked the question, did that make you feel good about yourself? Okay? Yeah. And that changed everything because hindi na siya sumagot. Oh, ayan. Hmm. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi naman natin nakikita o napapansin, syempre natabla na natin siya, nasopla na natin siya. Oo. Oh, oh. In a classy way, di ba? Ganun naman talaga tayo dapat pagka nagre-respond. Okay? Pag-iisipan natin kasi, alam mo, Mom, the moment na patulan mo yon, kasi meron din akong co-host, <laughs> para ikaw din naman yata naalala ko may eksena tayo ganyan. Oo. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Oo, may, may eksena tayong ganyan. sa yung sa co-host ko rin ngayon sa radyo na isa. <laughs> Kasi naman, ang sinabi, if I remember, yung sa'yo hindi ko maalala yung exact na sinabi, pero alam ko nandun ako noon. Nangyari yun sa show natin noon na ano, may sinabi isa. Sa co-host ko ngayon, sinabihan siya, on air ha? Uh, ano yun? Akala mo naman, ang ganda mo. <laughs> sinabihan siya. Tapos nag Sinabihan siya. Well, Sinabihan siya. How did she respond? Nagalit siya. So ako naman, magkatabi kami nun sa studio. Hindi to ano ha, hindi to remote broadcast. Nasa studio kami. Live to? So magkatabi, live to. Live. Take yeah. note, hindi talaga to Miguel. Hindi to Miguel. So tapos nun, tuloy-tuloy. Hanggang sa tapos na yung segment, hindi pa rin siya nakarecover. So nagrarant pa rin siya sa akin. Ako naman I was trying to ano to tell her na okay, oh kasi ganito 'yan, ganyan ganyan. So hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihin na oy, nakakahiya live tayo. Walang ganon. I don't want to ano humiliate the other person as well. But rather give oh, oh give an insight na parang hindi natin dapat ano patulan kasi lalo silang na-trigger. Yun yeah. yung hindi natin na-realize, 'di ba? So yun. Mm. Mm. Oo, pero yung Nakaka, kasi sa totoo lang, it, re- it will really hurt you. It will really... Yes, of course. It will really hurt you. Sagad sa buto yan mismo. Kahit gano'n pa ka-lame or kahit gano'n pa kawalang kwenta yung bashing, hanggat ikaw ang tinatam- tinatamaan siya. True. Diba? Tao lang naman. Tao lang naman tayo eh, di ba? Pero minsan talaga kasi it gets into our nerves, di ba? But again, all we have to do is really practice the art of, you know, doing it with class. And, you know, yun nga yung sinasabi nila. Eh, sab- eh, tsaka lagi ko din ito sinasabi sa mga tao eh. The, 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 the moment na ikaw ay uh, pinag-uusapan, you're definitely a controversial thing. You're con- definitely uh-huh. a controversial one. So you take it... You know, you take it lightly. As a compliment. Yeah, Oo. As a compliment, di ba? Like us, di ba? Hindi naman natin may iwasan na people would be well, us. People correct. People would be about us, would be the talk of the town for a while, and then we let it subside. And then, you know, 
we move on from our, we we move on nawawala din naman yan iinit lang yan mawawala din naman yan pero ito yung bizarre controversial kasi lately di ba ito hmm. yung naging national costume ni uh, Miss Universe Philippines Arabia Mateo o di ba nakita mo ba kanina oh. nag live streaming yung kanyang ano eh yung kanilang uh, uh, national costume competition mm-hmm. o na oh, oh. uh, ayun <laughs> Uh, this podcast is brought to you by Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate, powered by Kangaroo Fern Media Lab. Kangaroo Fern is Australia's independent video and podcast management agency with a mission to help individuals and entrepreneurs to start their own podcasts and harness the power of podcasting. Um, on a personal note, okay, ang, ang una ko reaction was, Okay, nagulat ako sa national costume kasi normally di ba parang terno-terno tayo yung ganon. And then I realized parang meron siyang gusto achieve na Victoria's Secret feels do sa costume niya. Oo. And then nung tinitingnan ko, hindi ina-explain na nung ano, nung nung host ko ano yung costume. Sabi ko, okay, may may ano, Philippine flag to kasi may mga star stars. Ang una ko na tanong nasa New Sun. Nasa New Sun? So, hinintay ko pa talaga, tumalikod siya. Sabi ko, ay, baka nasa likod. Oo. Oo. Baka may paganap na bilang sisikat yung araw doon sa somewhere, di ba? May, may mga ganun, ano, oo, masa talaga ako. And then, realize ko na parang wala. Okay, wala. I didn't make a big deal out of it. Because for me, it wasn't life-changing because she was rocking the stage. Ang ibig sabihin nito, maganda pa rin naman si ate, di ba? Ako nga hindi nag-register until I saw on social media how everyone was taking it against her, the organizers, the designer of the costume, because the costume apparently, ang sabi is, it didn't fit well. So, nasugatan nga daw si Rabia, may dugo daw yung stockings niya and all those stuff. But I, again, at the end of the day, that's no longer the question, guys. Unang-una, di ba, um, give the girl A for effort. She tried. She tried. She really did. However, isipin din natin to mom, siya nanandun siya, nilagay niya ang sarili niya sa lugar kung saan, inopen niya ang sarili niya sa bashing because she is representing the country. Okay? The question there was that, sa tingin mo, mom, was it properly handled? Kasi overwhelming yun, iba yun na. Kapag pinagtulungan ka ng ano ng mga Pilipino na parang, eh kayo kaya mag Miss Universe dyan, guys. Di ba? <laughs> parang ganun. Ikaw, how do you think was it handled? Ako, sa tingin ko ano, sa tingin ko on a personal note, bilang isang Filipino netizen, siguro karamihan pa sa atin or sa amin, siguro, kung hindi ka kasama doon, no? well, ako, okay lang, nakamove na ako. I- I'm happy kasi for Rabia, eh. whatever, kung ano man yung may uubo. Mm-hmm. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss an episode by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. Pero for the whole Philippines na nababash sa kanya, in it will take time. <laughs> it will take a while bago siguro hubo pa yung, ano, yung controversy. Kasi we are not entertainment gurus, di ba? To actually criticize about kung anong meron sa, technically sa suot ni Rabia. Pero we are here to actually talk about the bashing na kung saan paulit-ulit nga silang hindi makasabi yeah. against uh, Rabia. I think yung, yung take ko doon, um, very this is very ano this is very classic pero you cannot really please everybody eh di ba so kahit naman ano mm-hmm. siguro ng gawin ng management ni Rabia na it already happened eh. she tama ka she really rocked the stage and mm-hmm. sig feeling ko na handle din na Rabia yon kasi right after para nakita ko na nag-respond siya sa isang live i Instagram live streaming na kung saan nag-apologize din siya right after sa mga Filipino citizens telling telling everyone na ano I actually did my best pasensya na if you're not satisfied in fact uh, nagkaroon ako ng sugat sa fingertip ko tapos sa sugat mm-hmm. natin ako sa sa leg sa isang stockings niya may dugo na din Uh-oh. pero itinuloy pa rin niya yung pagrampa Sig- siguro yun yun pa lang it already shows courage and pride to the Filipinos to the and to the whole country na Rabia is really something and ever since naman ang Philippines talaga very controversial yan pagdating mm. sa mga pageants eh kaya feeling ko kahit na lumipas yung national costume um 
bandwagon na yan for today, eh, mas titignan pa rin nila kung ano yung mangyayari sa coronation night. And feeling ko mas magiging bash talaga siya whether or not siya ay manalo. Hindi mo well, at the end of the day, yeah, of course. At the end of the day, una-una pala, para sa mga kaibigan nating nakikinig, no, uh, wala pong points ang national costume sa pagkakasali sa top 21. Okay? So, kalma po tayo. Wala, wala. Wala siyang ano, wala siyang bearing. So, okay lang po yun. Uh, pangalawa, I guess, what's, what's good about this, when, what I saw, okay, it showed how, alam mo yon parang humble Rebia was for apologizing for something naman na, na hindi naman niya sinasadya. Diba? Kung baga, the intentions were good, however it happened lang na iba yung nangyari, di ba, kinalabasan. Number three, the bigger question here, um, ma'am, siguro is, how do you really handle bashing nga pa? Di ba? Magbigay tayo ng tips, siguro, kahit lima lang. Okay. O sige, number one, uh, for me, ang una yung dapat gawin is that uh, know that it's not about you, but rather about the basher. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kadalasan kasi hindi naman totoo yung sinasabi ng basher at lalong hindi kanya kilala. Pwedeng random people to, pwedeng nabayaran, pwedeng troll siya or whatsoever. So, do not take it personally. Okay? At the end of the day, you know yourself better and as long as clear ang conscience mo, don't worry if you get bashed because the truth would eventually come out. Ayun. Ikaw. Oo. Siguro yung isa pa, yung sino, dahil nga binanggit mo, it, para sa akin, bashing siguro. If it comes to, it's just like a boomerang eh. Diba? Eh, if it, if it, if, kung bilang basher, kung patatamain mo yung isang tao, babalik din yan sa'yo eh. Kasi, it's either, hindi ka pansinin, ma-hurt ka pa rin, ma-offend ka, kasi wala, it, it means hindi ka remarkable, or talagang papatulan ka ng taong uh, pinan uh, pinantutatsyadahan mo. Dalawang bagay lang yan. Babalik at babalik din sa yung karma na yan. For me, that's it. Kaya, if, uh, if, if you really feel like, you know, just uh, criticizing a person, I, it would always be a proper way of, of you know, um, saying it privately. Sending a DM siguro. Karma, karma la lang, di ba? <laughs> Ako kasi, okay, when was the last, ako, i-share ko lang ha, hindi ko alam kung matatawag akong basher for that certain situation. But there was this controversial actor kasi who I worked with before, before sa film. And then may lumabas a controversy around, uh, 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 about him that indirectly involved me because I was there in, when, that, when that controversy happened. And then nabash ako. And nabash siya. Sumama din ako sa pagbash. <laughs> Sabi ko, buti nga sa'yo. <laughs> Pero alam mo, after... Para kilala ko yan. <laughs> After, after a few years, nakita ko nagbago na siya. So, parang feeling ko, parang mm. pwede ko bang i-erase yung, yung bash, yung comment na ginawa ko. Siguro it has scarred mm. him. But, you know, I, 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 I think I left the wound sa kanya. I was part of that wound. If, if, nung, nung time na nang bash ako sa kanya, kung meron lang talagang pagkakatoon, ma-erase ko yun, sasabihin ko, mag, itatanggalin ko talaga yun. Pero, just so you know, okay na ulit kami nung, nung, ano, nung actor na yun. Oh, so, okay. parang sinabi na lang, Nag-sorry na lang din ako sa kanya actually. Tas, okay na. Okay na ulit. It's the right thing to do, di ba? Uh, apologize if you offended yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's someone. Yeah, apologizing lang naman yun. Ayun. Okay, next so, mind. next one that we should also consider when it comes to bashing, how to handle it, is that to actually look for a support group kailangan talaga stable ang support system mo. Ang ibig sabihin nito, nasa ng pamilya, nasa ng mga kaibigan, nasa ng mentor mo, nasa ng glam team mo, nasa lahat. Because, again, it would be better if you knew that you have real people believing in you at this point in time. Okay? Huwag niyo pong solohin ang bashing. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kung may isang taong tumira sa inyo, it doesn't mean na representative siya ng buong mundo. We are Independent Podcast Network. We are Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate. Would you like to hear your brand while supporting quality podcasts? Contact us now at advertise at guerrillapodcastsyndicate.com It only means na meron lang isa na naligaw na hindi diba, uh, in alignment kung ano yung gustong uh, gusto niya mangyari sa'yo or sa kanya. Diba? So on that note, always 
uh, beef up your support system. So, ibig sabihin yan, keep your, ano, your friends and family near and your supporters even. Di ba? Because they can fight for you and they can fight with you. Correct. Oo, and that really affects your mental health. Kaya mabuti nang makikilala mo at talaga makakasama mo. Mm. Uh, mental health, uh, yung mga health, yung support group mo, yung support system mo. Ako naman, yeah. yung huli para sa akin is that minsan you have to detox from social media or from the environment mm. kung saan nakakaranas ka ng bashing mismo. Kasi the more na, i- na i-expose mo yung sarili mo, they will use your weaknesses and your your um, negligences against you. Kaya malaking bagay siguro yung preno ka muna magpahinga ka muna and mag-detox ka from those people na talagang uh, gumugulo sa buhay mo. Especially those bashers. Whether or not sila ay personally kilala mo or hindi. Malaking bagay yung wala ka muna sa may sarili ka muna ng mundo. <laughs> yes. And lastly, yun nga, yung pang number five natin, no? In line with that, na apart from detoxing, what you need to do is to focus on the good. Diba? Kaya ka nababash because you are creating change or initiating one. Diba? So, focus on what went right. Bakit ka magpo-focus sa isang taong pumuna sa'yo kung marami naman natutuwa sa'yo sa paligid mo? Again, at the end of the day, would you let the opinion of one person change your entire destiny? Baka hindi worth it. Yun. Correct. O, diba? At yan po ang aming five tips para ikaw ay uh, mm. makapag-move on at saka makag-over yes. sa pagbabash. Ayan. O, pero saka lang ako give you a context nga pala dun sa mga nagtataka. Uh, siguro by the time na pinapapakinggan nyo po itong episode namin, baka hindi nyo pa na-check yung kung ano ba talaga yung contract mm. na doon sa naging costume, national costume ni Rabia. Actually, siya po ay parang naka, naka-alove, Victoria's Secret uh, Angel mm. Wing. Pero ang isang, yes. kulay, isang bahagi ng, uh, ng kulay ng kanyang wings ay red, which symbolizes courage daw and strength of an independent woman. Samantaling... Kulay, may baon. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko kaya yung may baon. <laughs> Hindi pa kaya kasi kailangan uh, bigyan ng context eh. Baka, uh, tama naman. Kayo. Yeah, and yung blue naman daw, yung, yung kamilang bahagi ng uh, pakpak ni Rabia is a symbol of loyalty. And then yung tatlong between naman daw na nasa costume niya mismo, it signifies hope and freedom to choose whoever you want to be. Ah, taray, di ba? Uh, so yun po yung symbolism na meron. O yung sun. Oo. Ha? Ano yung sun? O, Wala yung... kasi nabing sun. So, may sinabi si ano, may sinabi si Sharm si Subsup, yung uh, oh. ano, yung uh, Philippine um, I forgot, pero basta may may kinalaman siya. Mayroon siya position sa flag Philippines. Yeah, si si Miss Sharm si Subsup, sabi niya, um, actually kaya daw hindi na isuot yung sun na headpiece niya, headdress niya. Mm-hmm. It's because they found it very uncomfortable for her to wear it. Eh, syempre, that, nga daw. They, they, they'd rather not let her wear, wear it kaysa naman sa mahirapan siya on stage, di ba? Pero yeah. you know, regardless, eh, naitawid naman niya yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang uh, walk. Oo. Okay na. Again, ito na lang yon. Ewan ko ha, pero ako bilang fanatic naman ako na Miss Universe, okay? Bihira po yung nananalo ng Best in National Costume at siya rin po yung naging title holder. Kore, oo, totoo. Bihira. Bihira. As in, hindi ko nga alam kung meron eh, na eksaktong title holder, tapos siya rin yung ano, ah, Best in National Costume. Normally, kapag nanalo ka na ng special award, it's either yun na, or pwede ka mag Runner up, top 10, ganyan. Pero Miss Universe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But then again, it's not life-changing. So, just let go. Ayan. So, but, of the pageant. Pero teka lang ha. Gusto ko lang mm. isang pag-mention si Miss Singapore. Sorry kasi pinag-uusapan na natin ng pageant eh. Yes. Minute, di ba? Meron siyang costume ng kanilang uh, Singapore flag. Tapos, yes. Ano, Oo. Gusto ko yon Pagtalikod. Oo. Yung Stop Asian Hate. Tapos ang gumawa pala, ang designer pala ng kanyang damit ay uh, isang Filipino din na ginawa lang two days before the, ano, before the mismong national costume event. O di ba? Oh. Eh kasi, pili- ano, she was raised in the Philippines. Correct! Exactly! O oh, di ba? So yon So kaya baroon siya mag-Tagalog din. So yon So dalawa silang ano, Pinay, I think. 
Oh, yeah. Correct. And speaking okay. of message, ha, ayan yung mga kaibigan natin na nakikinig sa ating podcast tsaka sa YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much sa hmm. inyong patuloy na pagmamahal at pagsuporta. Uh, lagi nga natin sinasabi na very powerful talaga yung mga messages na meron na nanggagaling sa mga bibig natin. Minsan, yes. hindi lang talaga kung paano natin siya sinasabi. Yun! Okay. Exactly. Pakatotoo lang po tayo. And on that note, sa susunod uli nating episode, mga mom she's as pop she's may pop she's <laughs> at mga puppies okay ayan magsama-sama po tayo again wherever you are right now know that it's okay simply because you're on your way to become your own hashtag best me ever ako po si coach Mike Selix at ako naman po si DJ Terra Gonzalez na lagi nagsasabing when you love nothing could go wrong bye-bye ingat po kayo bye guys bye. thank you for listening Make sure to visit our website at www.guerillapodcastsyndicate.com where you can subscribe to the show in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or via RSS so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, rate and review this podcast and share it with your friends. You can also join the conversation with Guerillas Are We on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please consider on making a donation to help us keep making the podcast you love. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. A Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate Production.